Hello everyone, Jojo1201 here. If you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure notifications on all. If I don't know, you just never know when I'll post some more video, folks. Um, for this episode, this is going to be the brand new uh, Southern Cross Station. I have updated. Uh, did some changes and everything like that. I'm going to show you what I've been changing and everything like that. Um, and also, let everyone know that for my subscribers, some of them heard the news, some of them probably did not hear the news. Um, I don't know why I said, um, just to let y'all know that me and my wife been married for eight years but sadly we are getting a divorce she wants me to move on she wants me to find a woman that will make me happy and have kids because she don't want no kids so I have respect for that and looking for an apartment so I'm still looking I haven't gave up hope or anything like that I'm still going to continue trying to look for me a new place so that's what I'm going to be doing so I thought I'd let you guys know about the update so far <clears throat> so anyways we're going to take a quick tour of the farm that I'm working on right now. Um, as you can see, I am using this brand new tractor right here, the 9RT 570. It has 700 horsepower underneath the hood, along with this right here. I'm pulling this along. It requires 450 horsepower. It don't have a problem. This tractor right here does not have a problem pulling that. Also got this tractor with a line spread with a spreader in the back. Also got the John Deere A. This right here is for the soil samples and everything like and stuff like that, so I can collect the soil samples. Also got different types of trucks. And there's my other tractor over here. I'm going to go ahead and drive it, put it up. My John Deere 440. I don't need it just yet. Trying to move my farm equipment as soon as possible because I'm trying to. Plant some more crops and stuff like that since I got a lot of tractors that I need to put up. And I'm going to try to buy things in the shed when I get a chance to so that I can put my tools and equipment on, on there. Start and start off with some tractors. I'm going to show y'all. Y'all seen the 440. Also, we got a 4430, the 8R410. And also, bought two combines. I got the 9870 STS with a bullet rotor, John Deere. And also, this other John Deere right here. A 9860 STS John Deere and it has a number one on it. Well, I ain't gonna drive this truck at the moment. I wanna get my work truck. Cause this is the vehicle I'm driving right here, the Chevrolet 3500, and I got the F-350 right here. 
Let's go ahead and hop in. And I got the ride lawnmower right there too to mow the grass in. And yes, I got different type of trucks here. I got borrowed money from the bank and stuff like that. I got the 2006 Freightliner which holds the seeds and the lime and I'm going to try to put some fertilizer in there too so that whenever I get ready to plant I'll have some fertilizer I got a Mack truck Peterbilt 389 and I also found a Peterbilt cab over one thing I like about this truck right here one thing I like about that truck and also got the other truck right here this right here is the Kenworth W900 custom and it's from the expandables I haven't put that much hour on it but the next harvest and everything I may purchase a field I may purchase a cornfield right across from me or do some work for some farmers so I can try and get some extra money. Deer tractor right here along with the case that right there is going to help me with the manure spreader just like that also got some sheds here for for the small hay, uh, hay bale grass, straws, I'll try and work on some haze, and then I also have them as well too, the only thing I don't have just yet are the hay. Different silos here. Don't want that. Because there are some of them are ready to go to be used. I have my my garage here. And some of my equipment. Sprayer. I got two different type of forge wagons. Trying to save some gas here. This one's a little bit more taller than this one. I got two different type of headers, and then I got a corn header. I'm still working on setting my farm and everything. 
Yeah, so like that. I'm sorry the way it looks. I'm still working on it. Also got different type of silos. So like that. I'm still trying to clean up my mess that I did earlier. So I'm trying to work on that. And also got another semi truck. You probably yeah, you, know, you seen it earlier. Is this one right here? The TLX 9000. Turn our beacons. This is going to be our work truck. You got a beast when your fuel goes low. truck here I thought I was doing the work and everything. Looks so like I got to drive this tractor all the way up, fill up with gas. Not gas, diesel. Refueling. Let's go ahead and shut the engine off while it's refueling. If you're wondering how how I got my fuel low and everything like that, I set the I set the gas mileage to 
and everything like that on high and I let my equipment get dirtied and after I get finished with my equipment and everything like that which I need to wash some of the harvesters and everything like that getting them maintenance and get them ready to go I'm still trying to do the uh, the lime and the uh, fertilizer on the field so that when I get ready to plant I don't have to worry about putting fertilizer on it So, I thought I'd give you all an update and go ahead and show you what I've been doing and everything like that. Doing whenever I get a chance to post some more videos. So, this right here is going to be my first video of a southern prostation. So, hopefully, that your guys will like it. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure. You subscribe, make sure the notifications on all. If it ain't on all, you just never know when I post more video, folks. This is JoJo1201 signing off, and have a good day, folks. I will catch y'all next time.